What's the best way to insulate a double studded wall? Well, if you're here, I'm gonna assume that you're already on board with the advantages of a double studded wall assembly or are open to the idea for your upcoming project. Now, it's a great choice for updating old homes like our 1850s Victorian, since it's an easy way to add width to your exterior walls and pack in a thick layer of insulation. But what's the best way to insulate that thick wall cavity for a comfortable, high performance home? The short answer is dense, packed, blown in cellulose. The long answer is what we're talking about today. So here's what we're going to cover in the next few minutes. Feel free to jump to the section that answers your questions so that you can get back to planning your renovation. Hey guys, Matt here from Rise, your online home improvement store for products that benefit your health, wealth, and the planet. If we're talking your language, consider subscribing for more sustainable home improvement videos just like this one. All right. Let's dive in. So why choose a double studded wall? Well, a double studded wall has two stud framed walls allowing for an extra thick wall cavity that can be filled with insulation. The main advantage of this design is that the exterior and interior frames are separated by a layer of insulation eliminating unnecessary thermal bridging or heat transfer. This means a more comfortable and energy efficient home. Now what's the best insulation for a double studded wall? Well, double studded wall assemblies are on average nine and a half inches thick with a large space between the stud walls. Bad insulation fits nice and snug between studs, but they aren't really designed to fill a large empty space like this one. Blown in insulation is the preferred choice in the industry today with some disagreement over the choice of fiberglass or cellulose. I'm firmly on team cellulose and I'll bet I can get you on my team in, well, under a minute. Let's rapid fire some FAQs. Start the timer. Is cellulose fire resistant? Yes, it's treated with the flame retardant borate and it's more resistant to flame than fiberglass and mineral wool. Is cellulose a good insulator? Yes, a dense pack cellulose has an R value of about R3.6 per inch, about 30% better than fiberglass. You get more performance in a thinner wall, which is good news for renovations where you're short on interior floor space. Are bugs going to set up shop in my cellulose insulation? Nope, borate is a flame retardant and pest repellent. Is cellulose insulation a sustainable material? Yes, so cellulose is made of 80% or more recycled material like newspaper. It stores carbon and it requires less energy to manufacture than both fiberglass and mineral wool. Now that we're all aboard the cellulose hype train, let's talk about some things to keep in mind for your installation. How do I keep the blown in cellulose from settling and leaving a gap at the top of the wall cavity? Well, it's a common misconception that blown in cellulose will settle when used in walls because the cellulose used for attics is loose and is known to settle. We have a video on cellulose attic insulation on our channel, so go check that out. Now, cellulose installed in wall cavities is packed so densely, it's essentially as hard as a phone book. Wow, that's a bad example. Phone, phone books aren't really a thing anymore, are they? Uh, a textbook? Uh, whatever. Point is, this stuff isn't going anywhere. Now, do I need straps to hold the cellulose in place? Now, the wall cavity is packed so tightly that the fabric will push between the inside studs, making it a challenge to install drywall or another type of sheathing. I've seen a few approaches to solving this problem. We chose to use three quarter inch wood straps to keep the cellulose into the cavity. It gives the drywaller a flat surface and something to attach the drywall to. Another approach is using a tool called a belly roller to massage the overfilled cavity until the material is distributed and flat enough for a drywaller to come in and do their job. I didn't go this route because it isn't guaranteed to work, especially if your cavity is really, really full. I once had someone suggest that I use two by fours to do this job, but our Victorian is so narrow, we just couldn't sacrifice the space. I like to over engineer stuff as much as the next guy, but two by four seems like a little aggressive to hold some pillows in place. So how much does it cost to insulate a wall with dense pack cellulose? Well, expect to pay about $2 to $2.30 per square foot 
to have dense packed cellulose properly installed in an average nine and a half inch double studded wall cavity. Now, if you're looking for sustainable and high performance products for your home, check out the Rise store. We carry only the best products designed to benefit your health, your wealth, and the planet. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave us a comment about your upcoming reno project. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.